In today's video, I'm going to go over how you can make a trap melody from scratch even if you have no background in music theory. The first thing you need to do is pick a quality sound that you like. Things like piano, strings, bells, keys, all of these kind of sounds are what are most used in trap melodies. I think stock plugins and most DAWs are an amazing place to start, but if you're looking for some really good free sounds, I recommend the plugin Cloud Drum or the Native Instruments Complete Start Bundle. These should give you more than enough to start making some pretty fire melodies. I'm just going to go with a stock basic bell sound. The first thing I want you to do is to only focus on using the white keys on your keyboard or your MIDI display. That's because this set of notes is the A natural minor scale, and this is the most popular scale 99% of the time in trap melodies. Now once you've got that in mind, the easiest place to start is just to place a single note at the beginning of each bar. You can choose any note, but some common notes that I would recommend are A or F. Once you've got a single note melody that sounds good to you, we're gonna fill it out with some extra notes to create chords. Now, I know this can be really intimidating if you're just starting out, but it's actually way easier than you think. To create a chord, you just need to go up two white notes. One, two, one, two. Now just follow this process for the rest of the notes. Now at any point in this process, feel free to choose a different sound if you're not feeling the vibe. I think I'm gonna change it to just an Ableton grand piano. Now, if you're going through this process and one of the chords sounds a little bit weird to your ear, just change the bottom note and then adjust these two notes accordingly. So for example, if we wanted this chord right here to be different, we could just change this note to C for example, and then just repeat the process up to, up to. Now that you've got your chord progression going, it's time to add some melodic enhancements on top of it. Now for this part, I like usually staying in this upper octave, just because if you start adding a lot of notes into the chord, it might sound a little bit muddy. But at the end of the day, it's really whatever sounds good to your ear. I'm just gonna mess around on the keyboard for a little bit and try to find some notes that I like. So I think something like that might be kind of cool. Now that we've got a chord progression that we like and some melodic enhancements on top of it, it's time to affect and manipulate the loop. One thing that I like to do is to bounce the loop to audio because it really helps you have more control over manipulating it. In Ableton, you can either resample or you can just freeze and then just hold option and drag it to an audio track. After this, we can pitch it. One really popular technique is to cut every single bar like this and then to reverse them, which you can do on Ableton by just clicking the clip and pressing R. Now what this is doing is just adding a lot of texture. Something you can do if you want even more texture is to pitch this reverse layer up 12. Yo, that shit sounded pretty sick, low key. Then I usually try to affect it with some plugins to take the texture up a notch and just really make it more unique. RC20 is a good one. I like to use this EQ a little bit to tame some of the low and highs. Maybe give it a little wobble. If you need a free option, I would definitely recommend vinyl. I use these 1930 and 1950 things all the time. Here's before. Here's after. You can kind of tell it just really takes out the low end. It makes it more mid-rangey and just almost like an old sample. If you have the budget, something that's really cool for these melodies is Portal. I really like this pitch jumper preset and here's what it does. From there, you can try things like halftime. I don't know, I kind of liked it without it though. I'm just gonna keep it there. After that, you just add some basic trap drums and an 808 and you got yourself a banger. Appreciate you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If there's anything I can do to improve the content or if you have any video ideas, make sure to let me know in the comments. Grow as of anything though, keep vibing and I'll see you next time. Love you.